What do people in that part of Colorado, what do they say about uh, that area, unfortunately now becoming commonly associated with, with scenes like this? Well, I'll tell you, I mean, this is, if there's any part of me that is, uh, you know, when you get to my core, this is home for me. This is uh, where I grew up, and I still have dear friends there, and my parents live not far away, my brother lives not far away. When the helicopter pulled out to a wide shot, I could see my house that I grew up in. Wow. Um, I can tell you that, uh, you know, this is, this cuts to the quick uh, for people in Colorado. These questions, you know, why? Uh, and, and, of course, listen, we've had... 14 years since Columbine to ask that question over and over again. Why did that happen? Why has every other school shooting across the country happened? Why did Aurora happen? And of course, there is no one simple answer, is there? There, there are a whole variety of answers, and oftentimes it depends on who you're talking to and what their particular position is on everything from mental health issues to gun rights to what have you. Um, you know, but I'll just tell you that it's sickening. And as I, as I was sitting here preparing to go on the air and listening to our our KUSA coverage, KUSA, the station in Denver, I was yeah. getting just choked up uh, because this, you know, if this weren't happening it, where my kids go to school right now in this area, uh, in, you know, Metro Washington, D.C., there's no school that, <laughs> that uh, is closer to my heart than this one, and I was getting choked up watching this. But listen, I think there are a couple of, in addition to what I told you about how the active shooter response team from the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Department has dramatically changed their approach over the last 14 years. Yeah. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was having breakfast, actually, with the director of the Colorado Bureau of Investigation and his assistant director. I mean, you know, the, these people are still close to me. And they were talking about how the entire approach has changed. Uh, Littleton and Arapahoe County took the lessons from Columbine to heart. You know, I was listening to the fire, or fire rescue traffic a short time ago, and before they knew everybody was out, they were calling for activating the emergency medical uh, mass casualty system. I mean, they have put in place a very sophisticated system to respond to situations like that. And they all hoped that they would never have to have another one. Or they would never have another one. And of course, uh, we're still hoping that the that this one uh, w that we don't have any students who who uh, are more seriously wounded. But uh, you know, it's just uh, I don't think that anybody has any answers on this, and everybody will be wondering hey, what was the student's gripe, what was his yeah. issue, why did this happen? Hey, Tom.